Welcome back to a second segment here at the Valley Nature Center. And today we're gonna to be focusing a little bit more about the parts of a bee. So as we look at, at, at this uh, visual aid of a bee, something that sti sticks out to me, hopefully to you as well, is the wings. Now, when we talk about the wings, the, the bee has actually two sets, two wings on one side and two wings on the other side, a total of four wings. These would be known as your four wings. And these would be your hind wings. Something very unique about these wings is that they beat and they buzz about 240 times per second. 240 times per second. That's a lot and that's fast. No wonder they're able to zip and zoom through the air the way that they do. Okay, let's go ahead and focus now on the head. The head has a compound eye. As a matter of fact, it's got two compound eyes, one on the right side and one on the left side. This compound eye is very, very, very unique because it can see ultraviolet rays. And with the ultraviolet rays, it's able to identify different flowers within the environment. So it's able to help get and gain to different locations of the flower to pollinate. Another thing, another uh, unique part of the head is that it has a brain, a very, very small brain, almost the size of a sesame seed. Just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so now that we've discussed the head and we've discussed the compound eyes, there's just one more thing about those eyes. It also has three simple eyes on the top of the head. A grand total of five eyes it's able to use to to go to where it needs to go, different destinations, along with defending itself. Okay, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Next, we have what's called the antenna. Here's the antenna. The antenna plays a very important role as well because it's able to, to pick up different types of chemicals that are found in the atmosphere, different chemicals that it needs to, 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 to signal into the brain where to go as far as pollination is concerned. The next part, the next part of your bee, you have, and this is gonna sound funny, boys and girls, but this is the tongue. Here is the tongue of your bee. Now the tongue, what it does is it's, it's almost like a prong and it's, it's, it's trying to find nectar to feed itself when, once it goes to flower to flower. Okay. Don't get the tongue confused with its six legs. Six legs. One, two, three, and on the other side of the bee, four, five, and six legs. But something very unique about the hind legs in the back, something very unique about this is that it has very, very, very tiny, 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 small hairs, so many small hairs. Now remember, a bee is a pollinator and bees go from flower to flower, plant to plant, tree to tree. What do you think these hairs do? What do you think the role of these hairs on the hind legs do? Remember, it's a pollinator, it goes from flower to flower. You're right. It traps and it takes in pollen. So guess what the name of this is? These are called pollen baskets. Pollen baskets. Pollen baskets. Now, the very, very interesting thing about the pollen baskets is that it gets filled with, filled and filled with pollen and that's how it's able to take pollen from flower to flower. Now, I'd like to discuss a little bit more about the abdomen. Say it with me, abdomen. Yes, the abdomen. Here is the abdomen of your bee. The abdomen houses all the vital organs that the bee needs to survive especially the digestive system in which it, it, it digests all the nutrients it needs to survive. Next, attached to the abdomen is your 
your stinger. I'm going to erase pollen basket real quick, boys and girls. I'm just going to erase that real quick. Or well, the very unique thing that I would like to mention about the stinger is that whenever a bee stings any living thing, because we don't, because um, not only do we get stung by bees, but other organisms around get stung by bees, is that whenever a bee stings you or another organism, the bee dies. And the reason it dies is there, there are sacs and other parts of the organ that are attached that are attached to the stinger. Real small piece of advice. If you ever, ever, ever get stung by a bee, do me a favor and scrape it off. Scrape it off. Try not to get tweezers and try not to use your fingers and pull it out. Because once you do that, what's happening is that you, there are sacs of venom that are attached to the stinger. And if you squeeze, you might add more venom into the surface of your skin. So just a little tip there for you, boys and girls. Okay, so real quick, we've talked about the wings, we've talked about the head, we've talked about the eyes, we've talked about the uh, antennas, we've talked about the tongue, and we've talked about the legs. We've also mentioned the stinger. There's also one large part of the, hun of the bee, I'm sorry, and it's this area right here, okay? This is your abdomen. Say it with me abdomen this is your abdomen of your bee so I'm gonna go back and add all the key vocabulary and I'm gonna take my time so you can have a good clear visual aid of all the parts of the bee all right boys and girls so what I want to do is just do a little small recap of all the parts of the of the bee so real quick we've got our wings Does anybody remember the name of the wings? We have your fore wings, your hind wings. Okay, you, we have our abdomen. We have our head. Okay, we also have our stinger. Okay, we have our legs. Now, boys and girls, just a friendly reminder, how many, how many uh, legs do we have? The B has six, six legs. Okay, so we have our legs. What's attached again to the hind leg? We have hair, also known as your pollen basket. Okay, as a recap, let's, let's move on. How many pairs, of, how many eyes does it have? It's got five eyes, two compound eyes, and then five three simple eyes, three simple eyes, two compound eyes for a total of five eyes. Okay, we also have your antenna. And last but not least, oh, almost forgot one. We have our thorax. After our thorax, I also want to mention our tongue. And this is a small wrap up of the parts of a bee. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today, spending time with us. Every part of the bee plays a different role and function. Now remember, from the stinger to the eyes, because it's able to see through ultraviolet ray, uh, rays to see the different flowers from the tongue from get, getting its nectar to its wings from flapping 240 times per second to being able to breathe. Let's, oh, I like that one. And I'm glad we did a recap because sometimes you want to take pride in all you do. So one more time, 
You see these small holes right there, boys and girls? Those small holes play a role. They do. We almost forgot such an important part. And that's why it's always good to recap and to revisit and to reflect on what, we, what, what you do. Those holes are used to breathe in oxygen. Those holes are called spiracles. Okay? Uh, spiracles. Here we go. Spiracles. These spiracles are small holes able to breathe in oxygen. Okay? So without further ado, really want to thank you for your time today. And we appreciate you tuning in with us here at the Valley Nature Center. Thank you. Thank you.